Hi, hello, welcome, welcome back to another Rockcraft video. Welcome to a video about Urban Yellum's The Gift of Therapy in a little bit of a messy room. Clothes drying behind me in the back. That's the way life is, you know. Tip seven, teach empathy. Teach empathy towards your client. Accurate empathy is not only important for the therapist to be involved in the story of her client, to be following along quite nicely and feeling what they're feeling or attempting to do so at least. It's also important for a client to develop more empathy throughout the therapy. Yalom is convinced that many, many people come into therapy because of struggles they face in creating and maintaining authentic relationships, creating valuable relationships, really those friendships, those romantic relationships, maybe even family relationships and supporting them, keeping them afloat, just keep those relationships going. A lot of clients struggle with that and empathy is so important in those relationships. Let them practice in your session by feeling empathy towards you as a therapist, as their fellow traveler, however you want to describe it. Especially valuable for this, according to Yalom, is working in the here and now. When your client, for example, asks you something like, oh, you must be getting so annoyed by me, or I'm your sixth client today, you're probably not happy to see me, or oh, probably whenever you see me in your agenda, you get so annoyed and tired instantly. Answer those questions honestly and openly. Answer them from an authentic standpoint. Focus on the real question your client is trying to ask and train them in openly and authentically on their end asking the question. They might give like a sly remark that's not really striking the point they want to make. Help them make that point. Help them really directly ask you the question, even if it can make the situation uncomfortable or cringe. Tell them they are completely wrong. Tell them you're not counting down until the end of the session at all. Tell them they have not annoyed you before and if they would have, you would have probably told them. Tell them you're kind of happy to see them. You appreciate their openness, their honesty. You appreciate their perseverance. You appreciate how they are always conscientiously on time. Tell them that they are completely in the wrong and they have not interpreted your feelings correctly. Or, on the other end, on the other side of the spectrum, tell them that yes, indeed, they have told the story before and you notice yourself as well that you find it hard to follow, you find it hard to get engaged in, that you were maybe looking at the clock already to see like, is this session almost over? Be honest and open and authentic. Only by getting real feedback about their attempted empathy, will they learn, will they get better at it? Expectation, disconfirmation needs to happen. They probably expect you to be annoyed with them, but if you flip it around entirely and you tell them quite the opposite is the case, that provides the most opportunity for learning. They learn what their impact is on others and they sharpen their empathy in the process. My own thoughts on the subject, it reminds me of a client that I had for a while, quite a vulnerable girl, some bullying in her past, she didn't feel that well in her skin, she she didn't have the best self-image, let's keep it at that, and shy, silent, had to sometimes really pull it out of her, and after being a year in therapy with me, she all of a sudden asks me, you probably find me really annoying, right? You probably think that whenever I'm on your agenda, you let out a sigh, you don't look forward to the day anymore, you probably really dislike me being here. And there was an additional layer to that of like shame and guilt for her being in the chair opposed to me because she knows that in the field of psychotherapy here in Belgium, the waiting lists are immense and she fails to see that she deserves that place. She thinks somebody else is probably better off with the therapy that I can provide in the time that I'm providing therapy for her. I went quite far in my answer in telling her that it even actually hurt me a bit. It kind of hurt me to hear that after a year of building up our therapeutic relationship together, she would still think something like that of me. She would still even presume that I found her annoying after listening to her for countless hours, trying to be empathic with her, trying to help her out. And that's something I, I told her directly, like, you know, this kind of hurts me. I've not found you annoying at all. I appreciate how you're always on time. You've never missed an appointment. You try to make your homework, even if you dislike it. You try to really reflect on the topics we talk about in the session, outside of the session. Her flexibility in adapting to my agenda and additionally her perseverance, her unwavering perseverance in the face of hopelessness and in the face of some loss she personally experienced. It's a client that is quite stuck in these overly negative, self-critical, cognitive loops. And I know that this honest remark didn't completely snap her out of it or was not able to grab her out of that loop, but I hope it made at least a little bit of a dent in that unrightful, unrightfully negative perception that she has of herself and of her impact on others. I hope she realized that I was authentically answering and being serious about, no, you do not annoy me at all, and I'm glad I get to listen to you. So that's where I'm kind of 
combining, I guess, Yalom's advice with an intervention. An intervention in the hopes of strengthening their self-image a little bit, but also teaching her empathy. Like, no, you got it completely wrong. I'm not annoyed by you at all. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.